Hello everybody, it's Sally from the Sally Show and just before we begin the video, I want to apologise for the lack of content on my channel recently. Why you might be asking me? Well, this is basically why. Okay, time to upload a video. Let's see what the good old box of ideas has to offer. Great. Out of ideas. So basically I was just out of ideas. Anyway, continuing with the video, tomorrow is my 14th birthday! Yay! So not only am I a year closer to dying, but later on in the year, expect this voice to be getting deeper and this face to be covered in zits. Either way, what better way to celebrate my 14th birthday than to do something multiple YouTubers haven't done before and react to the depths of HELL! That is my very first video. And my videos aren't very good anyway, but trust me, this piece of crap makes them all look like creations from God. So let's watch it! However, I don't want to give it an extra view, so... We're gonna go incognito. Anyway, let's go! Okay, let's watch this masterpiece of a video that is by Free and Dobby Review. The Us from Batman TV with my very first Lego like, Harry Potter review. It is Free and Dobby from 2000. Okay, so first of all, I'm already going to talk about the damn video quality. This is like what, 240p? Like, what's the highest this video quality can go? Only 240p. And I was filming this with my dad's 6S that he had at the time. And the 6S camera quality is actually quite decent. So I have no idea how it got all the way to 240p. But let's just continue watching this masterpiece. I think it, it's for ages 6 to 12. It's set number 4736. And since I'm in the UK, I don't know how many pieces it comes with. But I sound like a kid. Care about the review. Actually, so first we're gonna start. I don't even say that. I, I was a kid at the time. Um, um, I'm pretty sure ten years old qualifies as a kid. I'm, so and I'm still technically a kid. Um, right now we're at fourteen. So or gonna be fourteen. Is the packaging. As you can see, I'm gonna be using this my. And this was also when my videos were done in one long take. It they weren't edited in iMovie like they are now. So, yeah. Um, just thought I'd worth mention that. About Lucius, like he did in the Chamber of Secrets. And the top right corner here is interesting. Why are Harry Ron and Hermione based off their half blood prince appearances when this set is based off the Chamber of Secrets? Because that's the artwork that Lego decided to choose for the box, okay? But it's okay. And on the back, I like how it's a reference to the uh, Hogwarts letters with the um, tape and the badge and everything. It's not a reference to the, hot to the um, Hogwarts letters, it, it just has you know, stuff like the stamp on the Hogwarts they don't letters. They have too much art, but they do have an advertisement for the Lego Harry Potter Years 1 through 4 game. And in this picture, we have the trio faded out. So that is a nice attention to detail that like they go in the, um, the instructions. I do but like that. I'm going to go on to the build. So here is the build of the set. It has this really neat play feature. Feature? And basically you put a minifigure here, you push it and it shoots. The sand green roofs, I don't know how I like that much. I think I like the grey ones from this year. That's basically more, just me just trying to hide my hate accurate. for the sand green roofs. But this is okay. Seriously, pause this for a moment. Lego, if you're watching this, please, for the love of God, change the Hogwarts roofs back to um, grey, not sanguine. It looks like they're oxidising, okay? Grey, good, sanguine, bad. Get that in your head, Lego designer team. It has some nice candles, and uh, it's mostly grey. It has some steps, but uh, yeah, nothing too interesting about this set can push this level right there to release the minifigure and speaking of minifigures let's get into the minifigures starting off with if dobby yeah let's get a close-up on him 
can see he has this really nice print of a sock, which is meant to be Harry Potter's sock. I will say this though, and that actually is quite a nice yeah, Dobby, Dobby himself. In fact, I think this um, version is much better than the original 2002. Because I definitely agree with Parcelf on that one, and I actually prefer this Dobby head sculpt to the head sculpts in the newer Harry Potter sets. The original one seriously uh, looks like Creature, the one from Order of the Phoenix, and he wasn't Dobby. I mean, the original Dobby was bad, but he didn't look Dobby, anything like Creature. But no, he was Creature. One thing that I don't like about Dobby, though, is that his legs aren't the same colour as his head. Do you think that maybe Lego didn't make his legs the same colour as his head because it would have looked like he wasn't wearing any pants. Her past me. And his head is a rubber, I can't wish it was hard plastic but it's because of his pointy nose. And I like how it has printed eyes and not normal tan eyes. Has some nice back print in. Yeah, really fits the character. And here's the sock print. And that is he a also nice sock comes print. with Tom Riddle's diary. Now, in the original 2002 set, it was a brown book with a hole in it. But now it's a surprise. I did prefer the original 2002 like, piece. This one was just a one black better. book, and I don't really and, like it that much. And also, so in the, in the Lego definitely set, went back on that. Gryffindor sock, not a random sock. So I kind of wish they kept the Gryffindor, but these two are okay. And then we have Lucius Malfoy. He uses Professor Dumbledore's hair in black, which I think fits. Oh, wait, did I just say Professor Those Dumbledore's clean, hair in black? He has two faces, but we'll Professor Dumbledore's hair in black, which I think fits. I just said black. Face print, he has two faces. But it's I'll show you tan, that you little hair. idiot. It's tan hair. Get he that into your head, past me. Clean. And he has this long black wand, which I like how they're making a new wand piece in this Definitely. Year. Um, like the new one piece is way better. Death These black mask. sticks do one not work. One thing I don't work. like though is that they didn't include a Death Eater hood. Like, come on, Lego, why? Well, anyway, that's it. And now moving on to the final character, which I accidentally showed you, Harry Potter. He has the lightning bolt scar. He has this really weird hair piece, which I like how they're using a new hair piece. And again, I'm happy that they're making new one pieces this year. It has a phone. It has a nice torso. It has a phone. What was I even saying at the time? This is a good set. It was a good price when it came out. It was ten dollars. <coughs> oh wait, ten dollars? You do know the country you live in, past me, right? We don't use dollars over here in the UK, do we? And <coughs> sorry about my cough. Ten pounds. Glad you corrected that. In the UK, which I think is a good deal. So overall, I rate this at an eight. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. And I'm just cut off at the end. Uh... So that was my very first video. As you can see, it was a total piece of crap. But at the same time, this piece of crap shows that I've improved over the years. I went from terrible Lego reviews like this to plush videos and random skits like the Totally Original Sonic Plush series and the In A Nutshell series. While they aren't the best videos on the platform, a lot of them are actually quite decent to me and I definitely believe that I've improved. Either way, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, but for now, goodbye and have a nice day. And remember to watch some of my newer videos instead.